extreme dieting like the tapeworm diet, and by no means do I or the Tyra Show condone putting a tapeworm in your body to lose weight. Um, we're gonna go on, we're moving on now. Um, there's some quite interesting other ways uh, to lose weight. Um, we've heard, that, have you heard of you know, people padlocking their refrigerators, people getting their jaws wired shut or getting hypnosis? But have you ever heard of someone sewing a piece of mesh to their tongue to stop them from swallowing food? Sewing a piece of mesh to the actual tongue. Well, Joanna's done that. She has something called the Chew Gay Tongue Patch, and she's lost 15 pounds in one month. So you have mesh on your tongue? Yes, I do. Okay, explain what this is. You, it's, a, it's a procedure. Basically what it is is um, it's a liquid diet. Um, it's a procedure where they put a stamp size mesh in your tongue. Uh, it's stitched. And um, you could chew, but you cannot swallow. So it, it prevents you, it restricts you from, um, from swallowing. From swallowing. Solid. Solid food. OK. And how long did it take to put in your mouth? Eight minutes the most. Eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Did it hurt? Uh, not at all. It did not hurt. Can I see your tongue? You see it? You guys see it? Wow, Dr. Chuge is here. Did you invent this? I developed this procedure, but I picked up the idea when I was traveling in South America and Mexico. I said, hey, this is something that we can really adapt and make a much more interesting procedure with. And then we also have a, a liquid diet that's included with that. It's powdered form diet. Like how long are you supposed to put something like that on your tongue? Usually we keep it for about a month. Uh-huh. It can be kept longer, but I like to be conservative, so I keep it for a month. So it's more of the diet of the, what do you call it, the uh, high school reunion diet for, for a reason, mm -hmm. and then, because once it comes off, you're going to eat. Uh, that's, that gives us opportunity to really train the patient how to eat properly, Wild how to time. exercise. It's kind of a pattern interrupt. And then also there's a clinical psychologist that work, works with us. Also, people can learn how to deal with their stresses. Have you ever put yeah. it on your tongue? I haven't. You have not? But I'm not too fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much does it cost? Uh, our, fr our, our fee right now is $3,000. Deb, you've done something a little bit differently. First of all, you've tried to lose weight very all different types of ways, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Didn't I, work? No, I've had an issue all my life and have tried everything. And when my doctor suggested the lap band procedure, it really scared me, and I, I wanted to find a less invasive way to try to handle this problem. And also, I, I like to eat, and I want to be able to eat like a normal person. And so tell us what you did. Um, I have my ears stapled. Actually, both ears stapled. Stapled? Yes. What does by, that mean? By my acupuncturist. Stapled? Like staplers? Like a little staple. That just looks like an earring. Oh, the thing on the bottom is the earring. The staple is inside. You probably can't see oh, it in the picture. Oh, the little tiny thing on the inside. It's very tiny yeah. inside yeah. there. Yeah. And what does that do? Well, at first, I really didn't think it did anything. And I thought, well, he's going to staple my mouth closed. And that's what's going to keep me from eating. Yeah. <laughs> but really, what happens is you, you start to just get control of your emotional eating. That was, you start to lose your cravings. I was a chocolate craver and a sweets craver. And I noticed that I wasn't craving those things anymore. And it was by accident, little by little. You lost some weight. I lost 110 pounds. What? <laughs> oh, my God, 110 pounds? In a year. In a year. I first got stapled a year ago. And it stays in for three months. And then it comes out for a couple of weeks. And then back in again. Wow. What about um, uh, infection? We have um, uh, Joe here, Joe D'Antonia is a licensed acupuncturist and massage therapist. Um, what, what about infection, Joe? Does this... Well, as long as it's applied by a licensed um, acupuncturist, uh -huh. someone board certified, we're going to make sure that not only the placement is correct, but also the hygiene and the removal is not only done correctly, but also removed and painlessly. Health Magazine contributor mm -hmm. Dr. Rashina Rajapaksa, hello, hello, is here. I thought I've heard it all, and I've heard crazy stuff that people do to lose weight. I've never heard of the tongue thing. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think there are two issues. One, as you very astutely brought up, the infection risk is an issue. And I think it's important um, when you're having any procedure done to really be aware of that. And 
you know, a lot of these things to me sound like temporary solutions. That's what I said, the high school reunion diet. Right, and it's why like put you yourself at risk, for a second. exactly, why put yourself at risk for an infection if it's not going to be long term? And you know, we're talking about the liquid diet, and the doctor said, well, we're training them to eat better. Well, how can you really train someone if they're on a liquid diet? And I think the psychology that you employ is probably much more useful for them long term than anything you're putting on their tongue. And I think that's the thing with weight loss. I know it's hard. It's it's simple, but it's difficult. So mm -hmm. the simple part is to lose weight, you have to burn more calories than you take in. There is just no other way to do it. But that's hard to do. Yeah. You know, it's hard to restrict your calories. And it's it's a lifelong commitment. It's a total change of behavior. It it's not something on your ear or something on your tongue. I still have to say, if, if you want to get fit, if you want to get in shape, you want to get your shape in shape, which I talk about, you know, there's, eating right, changing your diet, do it the healthy way. I mean, no offense to the doctors, these are doctors, but... We have a um, Get Fit, Get Healthy, uh, Get Your Shape and Shape program on tyroshow.com, and you can go there and um, join that, because it's also, I think, also about, like, friends and doing it with somebody. It's hard to do it by yourself. I mean, I got in shape and more fit than I've ever been, but I, I had a group of people that I was working with. Um, but thank you guys for coming and telling your stories. Thank you.